Lord, and in the house of God. It's good and pleasant, oh God, just to come before you. Bless us tonight, we pray. Oh, Father, draw us near the cross, open our hearts and mind unto you. Teach us thy ways and truths. Make this a house of worship tonight. Oh, God, help us to enter into that rest. Glory to God. That remains for the children of God. Oh, bless the churches everywhere where men are gathered in your name, oh God. Hear the cry of your people in this time. We thank you for Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yes, amen. All right, you did you.
loud enough for anybody to hear. Well, Hallelujah. Me and Tony are. What I have to put up with up here. Yeah. 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 Well, it's going to worry. I was with something. I was with something.
train. Yes. I got to use that tomorrow. He's got a funeral tomorrow. On the other side. You have to take it there home with you straight I knew that. That God's good. You have to take it home straight enough. <laughs> Get that back out next week. <laughs> next week, I need tomorrow. Oh, that God's good. I'll make sure I get one. I wouldn't leave no, you in the back. I'm just teasing you. I'll fix it. Don't worry. He does fix a lot of them for me. Um, I, uh, he is most of the time. Uh, God's really good to me. You know, I got an opportunity to talk to a guy that I worked for about uh, off and on about all my life. And he went on to become a multi-millionaire, I, I wouldn't be afraid to say, worth a couple, two or three million. And uh, I got an opportunity to ask him, uh, he's going to church now on a regular basis, and to talk to him about the past and the things that we went through and done in the past years and stuff, uh, bring tears to his eyes like it does a lot of us, and get you too close to his heart very quickly. And I asked him about karma and about you reap what you sow. And uh, he sat and bawled like a big baby. And uh, there was a time where I would have loved that opportunity to see him done that because throughout our lives, I didn't think he'd done me quite right. But I stayed in there and I worked for him for a long time. And uh, he, uh, he let me know in no uncertain terms that some of the things that he's went through in his life and that he's done to become to get to where he is today really probably isn't worth it. Uh, his wife's on dialysis three times a week, and she's uh, had open heart surgery, and her heart's not very well, and, and uh, his business is just kind of flip flopping around. And not that he would ever need anything else for the rest of his life, but besides the peace of mind, and he can't yeah. find that peace of mind, and. Uh, and so I've been riding around a couple of days feeling sorry for myself, walking the ball and carrying on and listening to all that good gospel music that makes me that way a lot. <laughs> uh, God just has a way when he gets us by himself, by ourselves to talk to us and, and, and deal with us. And that's what's been going on. And so as I ended up at his house and God began to deal with him, he was off me and on him. <laughs> But uh, it, that, wasn't a, that wasn't a bad thing. It was a break for me. And I got back in my truck. I squalled and bawled all the way home because of what God was, how God was dealing with him. And, uh, but I know one thing. As he sat there and I watched him and he had millions of dollars and he probably has no worries in this world other than he's going to die and his wife's going to die. And he's going to leave all that money to the kids to blow and spend. And they do blow and spend a lot. And it's probably, you know, it's not going to amount to anything. And I sat there with hope in my heart, knowing that I, I serve a risen Savior. And I know that if I die today, that I'm going to go to heaven and meet God. And, and I'm poor. And I don't know if God will ever see fit to give me a lot of money. But should He, I would give all that money up for what I feel tonight in my heart. And I don't know if He could or not. And that's what scares me. And I didn't know how to talk to him about that because I've never been a millionaire. I've never been in that place. But I do know this. When I left, God had touched his heart and he's dealing with things in his life. And that's a miracle. In itself. So, so God's good. He is good. Some see for wealth down here. Some look for Thank you. 
that he had a dream of that the angels ascended and descended upon the ladder, taking our request up. God is at the top of that ladder, sending him back down with the answer. And, and I was thinking about that I've climbed up a hot round higher on the ladder. Amen. And only God can do that. Amen. He lifted me above the shadows. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Put me in a good place. Well, good place. And I'm thankful. Absolutely. Because, you know, I could be down in Mully Grubs, sure. down the dumps, oh, you know, yeah. shoot rats. Why'd you let this happen? For me? <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I just thank him. I thank him. I, I don't know what else to do. Praise on. Praise they, on. They, they really do think I'm Woo! crazy. Praise on. Right. I love Jesus. Thank you. Now, I think, you know, I thought, Lord, if, if there's anything I'll miss, when I go to be with you, it's the church. I love your church. They won't be far behind. That's for sure. I do. I love the church. And my brothers and my sisters. I love my family. And I thought today, I was thinking day along that line. And I thought, you know, I really will miss the church. In you. Brother. We ain't letting you go that easy. I'm about to say we're about to say. We ain't letting you go that easy. You realize that. And, and I, I, I love the Lord, and I am so grateful that, that He loves me. And I'm going to sing, uh, I, I'll be listening. Amen. We want to know where you're going, brother. We ain't expecting you to go nowhere. No, I ain't going anywhere right away. I'm just saying that I, I feel like He's lifting me up in another place. Did he really go? I accept that. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, I'm ready for another step up. You know, let my words be powerful. Let them reach out and touch people. That's what we want, isn't it? And that one, everyone, we're growing in grace and knowledge of the Lord. And maybe you ain't there, but you'll get there. You hang on, you get there. Praise God. Give me a. a I think it's a. It's a. Well, they don't say what it is. Probably a C. I'm just guessing. I don't know. I heard you don't think. Yeah, I've been there several times. With my. Give me a D. Yeah. When my Savior calls, I will answer. When He calls, I will hear. When He calls, I will answer. I'll be somewhere listening for my name.
some words there.
Jefferson back there. Thank you. My goodness, with the best looking man in Morgan County. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ain't got time to be unhappy. I see him on the highway all the time. Bless you, bro. He's always on the highway, brother Pat. Are you happy tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Folks, I know where I've been. Yeah. I know what I've done, all right? And I know where I've been. Amen. Amen. And I know, thank God, through Jesus Christ, I know where I'm going. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And those things that are happy, guess what? They're happy. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> you know, tonight you are complete in Him. Yes. Amen. You are complete in yes. Him. Uh -huh. Amen. Beloved, amen. It does not yet appear. Amen. But what we shall be. Amen. But when He shall appear, we shall be like unto Him. Beloved, now are we the sons of God. Now are we the sons of God. We are complete in Him. Thank God. Amen. Amen. We are His penmanship. Amen. We are His poetry. Amen. We are His creation. It's not that we have made ourselves, but it is He that has made us. You know, so I just came out through the old way, amen, uh, uh, over my Hales Hill and that hill and this hill and that hill and up and down. And God is good. If you can't see the Lord, amen, you young people, if you can't see the Lord, amen, you better open your eyes. Amen. All creation groaning, even the birds and the fowls and everything are waiting for Him to come back. Praise the Lord. You know what we have to go through in life sometimes? Uh, uh, if we're not careful, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It'll fall in. Things we go through, we let them fall in. Yeah. Amen. Instead of letting them fall out. Amen. Ha -ha. Amen. Paul, Apostle Paul said the things that have happened unto me, he said, he said, they have fallen out for the furtherance of the gospel. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Your life is a testimony. It is. Your life is a testimony. How are we going to overcome? By the word of our testimony. By the word of our testimony. By the word of our testimony. By the, word, by the blood of the Lamb and, and the, the word, word of our, our testimony. testimony. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's it. Honey, this is God's covenant. Yes, it is. Praise the Lord. This is God's covenant. Amen. Hallelujah. He made a covenant with you, yeah. amen, through His Son, Jesus Christ. For He swore by none greater than Himself. For His yeah. own arm has brought forth salvation. Amen. He, he swore by two immutable things that it is impossible for God to lie. You can't lie. Amen. Oh, praise the Lord. I like that song. Turn your Bibles tonight. It, it, we're blessed, folks. Amen. I said we're blessed to be in the house of God. Amen. Uh, Second Peter. In the third chapter, praise the Lord. Second Peter, third chapter, eighth verse. Wonderful to see Brother Pat and Daisy. I was here. I came Sunday. I was getting ready to go to church at our church, at Sister Vida's church, and I really felt compelled to come over here. Of course, I told Brother Pat I wanted to come some Sunday morning. Because things are different on Sunday morning. Amen. And you get to hear Brother Pat, amen, elaborate on the, on the scripture. Elaborate. How do you say it? Somebody said it. Elaborate. Elaborate. Well, that's a gateway tavern. We can elaborate. We can elaborate. We can say it any way we want to. Hallelujah. Then Daisy was talking about how that. Uh, uh, they didn't realize who they were really talking to, but when he broke that bread, oh yeah, and then disappeared. He was gone. Eyes Their eyes were open. Honey, I hope tonight that your eyes are open. I hope tonight that your eyes are open. I hope that, open. I hope that you, amen. The tomfoolery that's in the world is not worth being blinded. 
No, it's the not. The God of this world has blinded the eyes of them that they not believe. Amen. But honey, you are not the children, amen, of the night. But you are the children of the day. Amen. And you are sober and you're walking in the light. Praise the Lord. Amen. Not that the night should overtake you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But we're blessed tonight. Thank God. Amen. amen. Uh, you know, we escape the corruption that's in the world through the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Uh, amen. We escape, the, we escape the corruption that's in the world through the knowledge of Him. Yes, we do. And the vehicle that brought you here, amen, I got a, I got a truck payment. I do. God bless it. Hallelujah. <laughs> and and I, love, I love my pickup truck, honey, but faith brought me into this kingdom. Amen. Faith brought me into this kingdom. Amen. Honey, you're saved, amen. amen, by grace through, through faith. faith. You are saved amen. by the unmerited favor of God and your faith in Him. Honey, Amen. That's the vehicle that brought you here. And faith will take you home. Hey. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, Amen. But it ain't time to go home. Praise the Lord. It ain't. The, Lord, the Lord said it's more profitable. He told Paul, He said it's more profitable yet even for us to stay. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. What well, for the prayers of the church, I believe the Lord might just come and take us out of here. But uh -huh. he Hallelujah. But the, the prayer of the saints hold back. Amen. The mercy of God. Amen. Is everlasting. Let's look at this tonight and thank the Lord for it. Praise the Lord in the Second Peter third chapter eight verse. Beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. Amen. That one day is with the Lord as a thousand and a thousand years, as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Lord is not slack. That's what I want you to read here. The Lord is not, not slack, slack concerning His promises, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering towards us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Praise the Lord. Amen. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great ferment, and He and the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you tonight again, and we thank you for your what we feel here and all that we have received. We got it from you, and we thank you, Lord. We are what we are, amen, for what you have gave us. And this is the testimony, amen, that, that your word is assured. We thank you that it lives in us. We ask your anointing here tonight, hallelujah, and your blessing, Lord, we're already, amen, blessed, and we thank you for it. We ask amen. your blessing in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Uh, all the promises of God are yea and amen in Christ Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. All the promises of God. But here, here it says, the, uh, Beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years is one day. Now you can say in the year uh, 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 thir 3,000 that He's coming back. Hmm? But no man knows it when He's coming That's back. Right. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You know, He got out of the grave on the third day. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Amen. A, a, a wicked and perverse generation looked for a sign, but He said, No sign shall be given but that of Jonah. As the, amen. As the Son of Man was three days in the belly of the well, so also. Uh, as Jonah was three days in the belly of the well, so also shall the Son of Man be three days in the center of the earth. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. We don't know. I said, we don't know no. the day that He's coming no. back. Amen. No. We don't know the hour. No. Amen. We used to talk about, amen, pre-trib and trib and post-trib. and Amen. Hallelujah. But you know what? The bottom line is you need to be ready. Yeah. Amen. You need to have some oil in your last. Amen. You need to get your last trip. Amen. And your wick cut. Right. Amen. And get some oil in your life. Amen. And get your glow good and clean. Hey, for the bathroom's coming back yeah. to get his pride. Oh, don't let him come and find you undone. <laughs> oh, but get some oil in your lamp, son. <laughs> That's funny, <what? laughs> The day of the Lord will come. It 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 will come. The Lord is not slack concerning His promises. That's right. As some men count slackness. Praise the Lord. 
But it's long suffering long towards suffering us. Does for you. Long suffering towards us. Thank God. Amen. Uh, I could ask you how old you was when you got saved, but amen. Uh, uh, I know how old I was. Amen. And had I known what I know now, ah, oh, hallelujah, I wouldn't have waited that long. <laughs> Honey, I, I'll tell you what. I, Amen. I got more than I bargained for. Praise the Lord. Amen. If I know that the kingdom of God is so prevalent and so real, amen, what is the kingdom of God? Amen. It is righteousness. Amen. It is peace. It is joy in the Holy Ghost. Amen. What is righteousness? Amen. To be in right standing with God. Hallelujah. How can we be in right standing with God? Amen. Having the blood of Jesus Christ applied to our life. He is our atonement. Yeah. Amen. He, he is our propitiation. He's our covering. Yeah, Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. That we be in right standing with God. God. Amen. Amen. That we receive Jesus Christ as our Savior yes. and know Him personally. Praise yeah. the Lord. That's how we're in right standing yes, with sir. God. Amen. In our righteousness, we are as filthy rags. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Amen. But it's not our righteousness. No. But praise God, it's His righteousness. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes I feel like a rat in the cheese. Amen. I, should, I don't deserve it, but I do I sat back there one night and honey dripped off my head and down my nose and on my shoulder and I went, wait a minute. Uh -huh. <laughs> of God are yea and in. Amen. Amen. In Christ Amen. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Absolutely. Praise the Lord. What do we think? What are we thinking that somebody made some kind of agreement with you and let you down? Huh? Praise the Lord. Somebody somebody made some kind of agreement with you and, 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 and you got offended because they didn't keep their word. Hallelujah. And they spent a time that I have failed to keep mine and felt terrible about it and couldn't change it. Uh-huh. Circumstances would not allow me to keep my word. Uh -huh. Circumstances just would not allow me, and I couldn't explain it, and to whom I had already promised. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. It, 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 gets, it, gets, it gets troublesome. It gets troublesome. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. Amen. But honey, the, the Word of God says, if my word abide in you, and you abide in me, he said, you can ask what you will, and it shall be done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, my words, he said, hallelujah. He said, these words I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Praise the Lord. Are we holding on to the promise of God's Word? <laughs> Say, whose report will you believe? Amen. Say, I will repeat believe the report of the Lord. His report says, I am healed. His report says, I am saved. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm free tonight. Praise God. I'm free in Him. Amen. I mean, I, I, I'm a free moral agent. Amen. I'm free to do as I choose to do. Praise the Lord. Amen. Can I go down here? Amen. Drive up to the drive up liquor store and get a quart of beer? Yes, I could. I'm sure enough good. I could. I could. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Amen. I don't want to. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to. What, what, what is it? Amen. Uh, that, that God has not given us the liberty to do. Yeah, Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. But but everything has consequences. Amen. Right. Every decision has a repercussion. Amen. Every decision, amen, will affect you. And sometimes you think that it's not going to affect the whole family, but your decision not only affected you, but it affected them worse than it did you. Yeah. Praise the Lord. You're not an island to yourself. Right. Amen. You're not just separated over here. Amen. Big britches doing what you want to do. Everything you do is going to affect somebody around you. And you know that you have received Jesus Christ in your life. And God has an expectation of you living according to the pattern that He has set. Amen. Hallelujah. And He is that example. Amen. Yes. Consider Him. Amen. Yes, God, consider Him who fought such a great fight. Amen. Of affliction. Praise the Lord. But uh, the promises of God, amen, are sure. Yes, they are, brother. They are sure. Uh, turn over to Galatians in the third chapter. Praise the Lord. We'll see in the third chapter and in the seventh verse. Amen. 
Know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. As the Scripture foreseen that God would justify the heathen through faith preached before the Gospel. I'm going to get a bigger print Bible, I reckon. God would justify the heathen through faith preached before the Gospel unto Abraham, saying, In thee shall all thy nations be blessed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Abraham believed God. Abraham believed God and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. We are the children of Abraham. We are the children of Abraham by faith, folks. Praise the Lord. Right. Look in Matthew in the first chapter and you'll see that Jesus Christ was the son of Abraham. Say, now figure that out, folks. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. He is in the lineage of Abraham. Amen. And, and, and we are in that lineage of Abraham Amen. by faith. Amen. Amen. What do we say then? Amen. That Abraham believed God and it was counted unto Amen. him for righteousness. righteousness. Amen. That if we believe God, praise the Lord, then we are heirs with Abraham. Praise the Lord. As uh, uh, the stars is in the sky and the sands is to the sea, he said, so shall, my, so shall your seed be. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But you have to understand... That by the law, it says, it goes on to say, but no man is justified by the law. By the law. Amen. In the sight of God. Amen. It is evident. For the just shall live by faith. faith. For the just shall live by faith. Now, for sake of getting into the, uh, the teaching of the context of the law, but, but, but the inadequacy of the law... Had the law been adequate, amen, of the Ten Commandments, praise the Lord, which was, we were never under as the Gentiles, we were never ever under, amen, the law, amen. Praise the Lord, but, but, uh, but we, we by nature keep the law, praise the Lord, thinking that we could obtain of the righteousness in which we think Israel has. But Israel has no righteousness as to the law. Israel has the righteousness, amen, of God through Jesus Christ, praise the Lord, amen. But we were trying to establish and keep that law where no man is justified by that law. Oh, praise the Lord. Amen. 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 But of the law of righteousness, Jesus. which is in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I, I wore a tie to church the other day on Sunday. And everybody looked at me real peculiar. <laughs> praise the Lord. Amen. There. I said, well, you, you know, brother's getting righteous again. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. I think a preacher ought to look like a preacher. Oh, I think praise so. the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. You can look righteous and have a spirit like a snake. Amen. Yes, yes, amen. You can look good and be mean. Yes, yeah, true. Amen. You can be yes, ugly as a mud splattered fence and rainstorm and have a real sweet spirit. About you. Amen. Amen. That's a white painted fence, by the way. <laughs> amen. It's the spirit that's in you, folks. Praise the Lord. I said it's the spirit that's in you. Amen. It's greater than your appearance. Yes, Praise it God. is. Amen. Hallelujah. The inward beauty of God. The the inward beauty of God that's expressing itself. Amen. It's Christ in you. Amen. The hope of glory. It's not you anymore. Amen. It took me a long time, Ronnie, to figure that out. It's not me anymore. But it's Christ that's in me. The hope of glory. Get out of the way, Kevin. Amen. Hallelujah. It's me. Praise the Lord. It says the law is not of faith, see. But the man that doeth them shall live in them. Man. Christ has redeemed us from the curse. Amen. Amen. The law was a curse. Why was it a curse? Because it wasn't possible any man could keep the whole law. That's right. Amen. Amen. Being made a curse for us. Amen. For as it is written, cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. They didn't receive Christ. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. They... They was looking for a political leader. Amen. They was looking for somebody to restore Judea. Amen. Over uh, Roman rule. That's Amen. Right. That's what Daisy was Amen. talking about. Yeah. As they walked down the road to Emmaus, they was talking to Jesus. And yeah. they said, well, we thought he was the guy. We thought he was the one that was going to do it. But he's gone. He's left. And here we are yep. still under the... Down the first Amen. Friday. But he broke that bread. Boy, they beat it to town and said, yes. he's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. Praise Praise God. Is open. Yes, Praise amen. God. Oh, He's alive in you. Amen. 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 Listen, the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. How are we grafted into this covenant? How are we grafted into this promise? Amen. 
Amen. By the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, you know, in, in Revelation, he said, he said, I looked and there was none worthy to open the book. Not one. Not one worthy. Not one. Amen. And then uh, the voice said, wait a minute. The Lamb of God, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Amen. 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 He alone is able to open the book. Praise Absolutely. The Lord. God has opened a new book. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. We have it right here, folks. Amen. We have the we have the Old Testament, which is a covenant and a will, and we have the New Testament, which is a covenant and a will. Praise Amen. the Lord. We're under the will of the New Testament. Thank God we're in the dispensation of God's grace, and that door has been opened. For over 2,000 years, and whosoever will let him come and take freely of the waters of life. Amen. For this promise is unto you, amen, and your children, amen, and all them that are born, and as many as the Lord thy God shall call. God is calling you out of darkness. God is calling you into this light. Praise the Lord. Amen. Into an agreement with Him. Into a covenant with him. Praise the Lord. See, I got married, amen, over 30 years, 29 years ago. Been together long. Ronnie introduced me to my lover. <coughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> On the steps of that old church down there. I never dreamed you'd get proud of me. She's a sweetie. Yes, she Bless is. her heart. She's a good one. Yes, she is. But, you know, I might fail her in covenant. In all my efforts, I might fail her you know, not not be the husband that, that I that I want to be or or that she thinks I should. Huh? Amen. But marriage is a is a hundred and fifty and hundred and fifty, honey. Yes, it if is. you ain't got a hundred and fifty, get out of it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, it's a hundred and a hundred. All right. Praise the Lord. That's two hundred. Hundred and fifty and hundred and fifty. That's three hundred. See, you got more to work on. Oh yeah. <laughs> But see, you are brought into a covenant, amen, with a Redeemer, amen, with a God in whom has saved you, amen, has kept you, amen, you are married unto Him, you are espoused to Him, you belong to Him, honey, you are His bride, and He's coming back to give you, amen, the Lord is your husband, amen, He has redeemed you, and you belong to Him. Amen. 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 If you look in, in Isaiah, and, and I think it's in a... In the 45th verse, I'm not sure, but it says, Where is thy bill of divorcement? Amen. Where is thy mother's uh, divorcement? Praise the Lord. Honey, praise God. Amen. You might be cold tonight. You might be backslidden on God. Amen. You may not be as close as you once was, but honey, you're still married to God. Amen. Yes, God brought you out of the world. Amen. Thank God you're a square peg and you can't go back into a round hole. Honey, if you want to be miserable, go back on the covenant that you made with Jesus Christ. Amen. And you'll be one miserable frog. I'll tell you that. <laughs> That is true. Oh, yeah, but nothing's true. more important to me. Nothing, Ronnie, would matter. Not praise God. Not as long as I know, as it's settled in my heart, that I know that I'm in the will of God. That I know there's nothing any more important to me than to know that I'm doing what God told me to do. I don't care if the fence falls down at the neighbor's house. I don't care if it, if it what comes up the street tomorrow. Amen. As long as I know that I'm in the will of God, everything's going to be all right. Praise God. Amen. Corinthians in the seventh chapter sometime and read that there where it says, Let every man abide in his own calling. Hallelujah. Hey! Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah. Now it bothered me at first that my my wife loved the Lord more than me. Mm. Come on. I'm joking. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you've got to love God, folks. Amen. You've got to love Him over your children. Amen. You've got to, what Bobby said, the Lord, my wife, my children, and you get it right, and the umbrella is going to fall down around you. God has got to keep you in the safety of His Absolutely. God will put you in a safe place and shadow you with His wings. Praise the Lord. Even the unbelieving husband is shadowed by the believing wife. I don't know why he didn't turn sanctified husbands, amen, but the sanctified wife, amen, her covenant with God does shadow her unbelieving husband that she is not to depart from him, amen, 
Amen. But that she, he might be won by her chaste conversation. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Which is talking about that inward beauty, by the way. Yes. Praise the Lord. Well, I've got blown away from this. That's all right. Let <laughs> it go, boy. It's all right. Good, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promises of the Spirit. The promises of the Spirit. Amen. What Paul said, it just choked me up the first time I read it. And he said, Any man have not the Spirit of God, he is none of his. He is none of his. He is none of his. Any man have not the Spirit of God, he is none of his. Whoa! In a lie. Paul said, Any man love not the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be a not to my. Amen. Which means you triple curse, by the way. That's curse, curse, curse. Woo. Huh? Amen. You, 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 you. Thank God you, you're living in your sins and you don't even know you're cursed. Amen. You're living in the flesh and you haven't received Jesus Christ and you have no promise or hope and you're alienated from God. You don't even know it. Uh, amen. But thanks be to God, Ronnie, He opened our eyes. Uh, thanks be to God tonight your eyes have been opened. Amen. Thanks be to God that He came and opened up your understanding that He drawed you. That no man cometh to the Father least He's strong. Amen. He's got to be drawn by the Spirit of God. Amen. God is drawing you. You need to listen. When God God gets up oh, here in your yeah. heart and your heart starts beating in your throat yeah. and you're wondering what's going on. How did God's beginning to deal with Amen. you? Don't you know that God is a long suffering to God? Amen. Amen. He needs us to repent. Amen. I'm going to get to this in a minute, I reckon. <laughs> Amen. Listen, brethren, I speak after the manner of men. Now, my covenant with my wife is a marriage covenant. But it's, it's amazing that that marriage covenant, amen, amen, was ordained before any biblical covenant. Huh? God set up that covenant when He took an, a, a rib out of Adam, amen. and He said, He said, He said, it's not good that man shall be alone, may be alone, amen. And He gave man a help me, praise the Lord, hallelujah. And He took the rib out of Adam, hallelujah, amen. And and, and this is the covenant that we have. Amen. That a man uh, should leave his mother and his father. Amen. And cleave unto his wife. Praise the Lord. You understand the, the principle that I'm trying to make that you are in a covenant to keep with your spouse. Amen. But the covenant that God has made with you through Jesus Christ is far more exceedingly and important. Amen. That you live a separate and consecrated and committed life to God. That you are sanctified in the Lord and you belong to Him. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. That you're not committing some kind of spiritual adultery of pulling and doing things. Amen. That's throwing your mind away from God. Praise the Lord. Amen. But gird up the lines of your mind. Amen. Get your mind on the Lord. Whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are of a good report, if there be any virtue, think on these things. Get your mind out of the gutter and get back in covenant and agreement with God. Amen. And let the blessing of the Lord all oh, keep you. Hallelujah. Amen. Pray. Nice little talk. Yeah, you know. Good talk. Brother. I feel like a two. I feel like a two-row cornfield. You're doing great. Right? Preach on. Preach on. Wipe this side of your face. Huh? You got both sides. Get that side rubbed raw. Get that honey down there. Get that honey right down to here. All right. I'm going to get to this. Listen, it. God, I love y'all. You're too easy, Blue. Love you. Love you too. We're pulling it right out of you, son. Yeah. Yeah, I, I have an inactive thyroid. See, it's, a, it's, a, it's an inactive thyroid. That's why I sweat out my head. I don't sweat anywhere else. It's right down. <laughs> yeah, you know, well, there's no leak down here. It's all up here, brother. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Are you getting anything out of this? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Good preaching, yeah. my brother. Hallelujah. Brother, I speak after the manner of men, though it be but a man's covenant, yet if it be confirmed, no man disannulls or addeth thereof. What did he say? He said that if you add unto the word of God, he said, I'll add the plagues upon you. Amen. And, and, and if you take away from it, huh? Hallelujah. He'll take your name out 
Amen. Honey, all I can do is give you what the Word says. Amen. Amen. That's all I can do. That's what I'm called to do. That's what God called me to do, was just to preach and manifest His Word as Amen. He has given to me. Amen. When you break the bread, honey, that's what you do. You just break the bread. Amen. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promise made, he saith not. Not only to Abraham's seed. If you look in, in the Hebrews in the 11th chapter, amen, under the heroes of faith, and you look in the last verse of that 11th chapter, it'll see that He, he has made some better way for us that they... Amen. Would not be uh, 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 saved without us. See? Amen. Amen. But see, they didn't have the covenant of promise. Amen. amen. The only promise was in the law was Amen. Love your aunt, uh, honor your mother and your father. Amen. amen. Uh, uh, that your days may be long upon the earth. Amen. For this is a promise. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is this is a commandment by promise. That was the only commandment. Amen. By promise. Amen. But that you honor and, or keep the whole law. Praise the Lord. Amen. But see. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promise made. He saith not to thy seed of many, but of one, and to the seed which is Christ. Amen. And this I say, that the covenant that was confirmed before God in Christ, the law, was 430 years after. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, there was 430 years between the law and Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. But 430 years could not take away, honey. Here's what I'm trying to tell you. Time itself cannot take away from the promise that Jesus made. Amen. That, amen. Thank God that if you should believe in God, He said, you believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. But He said, I go to prepare a place. Amen. Hallelujah. If I go, He said, I will come again and receive you unto myself. She said, didn't ours look that way? I said, yes, they did. Listen, time itself cannot take away from the promise that God has given to you. No. Time itself cannot take away from you. But listen, if that door of grace, if this door, if this, if this door of this dispensation of time of grace is which we're in right now, if the Lord would shut that door. See, here's the problem, folks. Amen. Praise the Lord. Here's the problem. Praise God. People's got it figured out that they can get saved anytime they want. That's right. That ain't true. This is the problem. That people just got it figured out that I can get saved when I want to. I just live it up. I'm like a candle. I burn on this end. I burn on that end. I'll just, yeah, I'll just, I'll just do it. I'll just do it. Amen. But honey, you just can't get saved anytime you want to. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You, you, the Spirit's got to draw you. Amen. And you got to yield yourself over to the Spirit of God. Amen. Look in John the 17th chapter very quickly. Amen. Jesus prayed in the garden. And He said, For I have given unto them the words which Thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely I came out from Thee, and they have believed that Thou didst send me. Amen. Praise the Lord. Jesus came to give us this word. Yes, He did. Amen. If you look 
in Hebrews in the ninth chapter and somewhere wrong about the 17th verse, you'll see that uh, uh, a covenant is of no effect. A will, a will, a will and covenant is of no effect. It, we couldn't receive this promise of this word until after the death of him who bare it. That's bear. right. Yeah. That's amen. Right. And, and, and uh, the will, amen, the bearer of the will, he that beareth the covenant is the testator. Praise the Lord. Uh -huh. Amen. Now somebody said, now how do you test a tater? Amen. I said, I don't know. <laughs> But Jesus Christ was the bearer of the will, and He is a testator of the will. See? And it was of no force. It was of no force, amen, while He yet lived. That's right. The will was of no force while He yet lived. Right. Amen. Right. Praise God. Hallelujah. How can you believe in whom you have not heard? Amen. Amen. And how can you hear without a preacher? Amen. And how can He preach? At least He be sent. Hallelujah. These words you've heard tonight is enough to see. Amen. To lead you and open your eyes that you can be saved tonight. Praise the Lord. Amen. amen. Faith comes by hearing. Amen. And hearing by the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. How can you believe in whom you have not heard? Jesus Christ, the hope of eternity, has come into your heart. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And this is the words He gave us. Yes. Amen. As a will and a testament. Thank you, Lord. And the covenant we have with Him. Praise the Lord. We have, Thank you, Lord. A, we have a covenant with the Lord tonight. Praise the Lord. Amen. Where are you at tonight? Praise God. Praise the Lord God. Where are you? Think about it. I have to ask myself, where am I at in my marriage? Huh? Where am I at, Lord? Uh -huh. Am I treating her correctly? Amen. Because the Scripture said, if I don't treat her right, the Lord is not going to answer my prayers. That's right. He said He's not going to answer my prayers if I don't treat her right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and, and the best years of her life right now. Praise the Lord. Amen. Here she is in the best years of her life. Praise the Lord. And, and, and the wonder that I'm not being the individual I should be to her. Praise the Lord. And so I need to ask you tonight in that covenant agreement in comparison with your marriage, amen, where are you at, amen, with amen, your covenant with the Lord Jesus Christ? Amen. Praise God. Amen. Where are you at with Him tonight? Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you standing on the promises of God tonight? Amen. amen. The brother said, if I would lay my head down and my breath would leave my body, he said, I know I'd be with the Lord. Where would you be tonight had some misfortune come upon you? Where would you be tonight? Amen. Have you heard and do you know, amen, the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior? Have you heard Him and do you know that He is your Savior? And only through Him can you be saved. Only through Him. Praise the Lord. Amen. There is no other way. There's no other name given. Amen. But, but, but by the name of Jesus Christ that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. I've had the revelation. Say, I've had the revelation. Say, I believe in God. I know that He lives. And He loves me because He lives within my heart. Let's stand. We go to get the Lord standing on Thank your hands, all you people. Take the Lord and He'll come down and walk up and down the aisle. And the Holy Ghost will tell you. publicly and he called them publicly he didn't sneak off somewhere and call them and that's why that uh, Billy Graham I love that when he says that he said just step out in the aisle and come down bow your knee before God and let him see that you care 
Hallelujah. Is there one here tonight that will just step out and say, I want to I do more for Jesus. I want to rededicate my life. I want to do more what God asked me to do. Is there one that will just step out and say, yes, Lord. Here I come. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know anybody in this building that couldn't be at this altar. And he said this, God never called nobody in secret. He called them public. Thank you. He said, come down. For today I must abide at your house. If he's calling you tonight, thank you, Jesus. Let's step out. Let the world go. I'm expecting a miracle to happen. 